Yeah. I was going to say, how are you managing your skinny type twos? The skinny type twos are very interesting because there's actually a number of them who will actually be latent onset type one, which kind of makes sense, but you can't actually always tell on the blood work or clinically. And the skinny type twos, um, as I said, the, the key is not the overall fat. The key is actually the internal fat, the, the ectopic fat, the sort of uh, central adiposity. That's the difference between diabetes and no diabetes. So we actually have a number of people who are normal, uh, weight as, a, as defined by body mass index who still have type 2 diabetes, but they have too much liver fat and they have too much pancreas fat. So it's treated the same way. You just make them, uh, you know, you cut their carbohydrates, you add, introduce the intermittent fasting, and they still do very well. What's really interesting is that Asians are very, very prone to this. So if you look at the overall uh, body mass index when people get diabetes, in Caucasian it's something like 27. But in Asians, it's like 23.7, which is in the normal range. So the average time that the South Asian, the East Asian, gets type 2 diabetes is at a normal weight. But when you actually see these patients, and I have tons of them because of Toronto has a large Asian population, when you see them, their weight is not bad, but they all have this big gut. And it's like, okay, well, that's, that's why you have type 2 diabetes. You have a lot of ectopic fat, fat where it's not supposed to be, in the liver, in the pancreas, around the organs. So we manage them the same. It's the same pathophysiology, but Asians are a special case where you see that a lot. Yeah.